self. So these energies, an amazing thing, but they are about separation. Why? Because separation gives you freedom. Separation frees a lot of energy. The frees a tremendous amount of energy. Imagine going into the insane asylum and unlocking all the doors and letting everybody out. <laughs> it's better on the insane for the insane asylum. Doesn't take so much to keep the place going. Everybody's gone, and the beings that were there weren't yours to begin with. Maybe you could turn the insane asylum into a true spiritual center now. It has been a crazy house. They had everybody locked up, but really they had you locked up until you brought that master key in said, I'm going to let them all out. I can't handle them anymore. Can't manage them. They're not getting any better. They're getting worse. And on top of that, I'm going to be in within this place myself. So you walk in, turn the key, let them all off, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. And once they're let out, they actually get better. <laughs> once they're let out, you are relieved of a lot of responsibility and obligation for trying to treat the lunatics, <laughs> and you can't. Uh, you can't treat yourself like that. You see. So it's a tremendous time of wonderment, absolute wonderment going on. June, you're going to feel it more in the redoing of the mind patterning. It's going to come in, it's going to clear out a lot of old things that really don't belong to you. The house cleaning, literally going through, reorganizing. It's going to change also the way energies are taken in by the mind and used for processing. The biggest factor is what we've talked about the last two months, the melding now or bringing back into harmony of mental and creative. Mental has been the lunatic locked in the bin. Uh, you let that out, discover that it's really not lunatic after all. The lunatic thing was putting it in the bin, in, the, in this insane asylum. You let it out and now it can mingle with creative, amazing creative. Creative that is going to be profound, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. And I'm going to talk about what to do to really get that grounded. I, new ideas, ideas, ideas that are, that are going to come from your brain, from yourself, so grand, so dynamic. You're going to think that they're crazy. You're going to hold back on some of the things that. You are starting to realize. You're going to say, I can't talk to people about this. They're going to think I'm nuts. And when you do, <laughs> I'm going to be right there to say, No, talk, speak, Arf. get those ideas out, speak them, do them. Why? Well, if you don't, you're going to be really disappointed in yourself and you're going to go back into the insane asylum. <laughs> if you don't, the world's not going to have the benefit of these grand insights. So next, this month will be a very, very interesting month from the mind standpoint. The rest of the world is going to be going to hell, but you're going to be riding the wave. I'm upset about the world right now because I know what it can be. I know what an experience it can be. I'm upset because I see the gravity. I see the mass consciousness dragging people deeper and deeper and deeper within. And what do they do? They take pills. They, they take all sorts of therapies. They, they kill each other. They, they war. Uh, th this is a planet that continues to be at war, continues. They're thieves. They're robbers. They're warriors. And I know some of you are already writing your emails. Dom is saying all these bad things about humans. Am I lying? Am I making it up? I don't think so. I think. It's psychotic to pretend it's not there. And the point is, it's getting thicker. This is, a, this, is this world is psychotic. Uh, I'm not talking bad about humans, people. Humans are fine, but they, they believe I in this stuff. They, they, they believe in love. They talk about love. And what I see from so many is neediness. They talk about charity. 
And what I see from so many is guilt. They talk about happiness. And all I see is the carrot in front of the horse, getting them through another day. They talk about their religions and their gods, but all I see is control. And they talk about progress, and all I see is distraction. They talk about doing the right thing for the good of all, and all I see is they're trying to get more for themselves. So the mind is totally changing. You worry about it. You, you worry and you say, oh, God, I'm depressed. Uh, or, oh, geez, I'm psychotic. Yeah, OK, well, you know, you know what? Everybody is. Now, everybody is. Join, join their club. Uh, no, I, I, it, I've taken uh, I've done a lot of feeling into energies, and every human is totally screwed up. Uh, oh. No, it's true. It, you'd have to be to be here doing this time after time after time after time again, without stopping to say, hold on a second. What, what, what is this about? Uh, what do I want to do? So, no, every human is psychotic to a degree, to a degree some to a very, very large degree. The ones who question are the least psychotic, but they're made to feel to be the most psychotic. Ah. The ones who question are actually the sane ones, but then they compare themselves to the truly psychotic, the ones who are content with the pattern. And then they feel there's something wrong. You feel there's something wrong with you. No, not at all. Crazy is something that is defined as being outside the norm. So crazy is okay. Uh, psychotic is defined by, by meaning that uh, people the psychotic person has no orientation or grounding or connection anymore to reality. But when the definition of psychotic is written from within the zoo by you know, one of the inmates <laughs> using the zoo itself as the definition as being grounded, there's something wrong. And that's why I say this. Humans are psychotic and they're inhumane, in-humane. Uh, Unhumane. Humanity, the basic humanity is amazing, but humanity being in humanity is meant to be an experience, not a punishment. It's meant to be an experience. It's, that's all. It's not meant to be the final thing. You can never, ever, 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 ever perfect your humanity. Not meant to be. It's only meant to be experienced. And all the inmates at the zoo are trying to perfect it. But I said, you know, I'm going to sum it all up. And Linda, if you would write this, because it was so masterly. I'm going to sum it all up. For all of you, my ascended masters listening to my lecture, I'm going to sum it up. And it's pretty simple, but it's one of those things that's going to have you wondering about it for a long time. What did he really mean? I'm going to sum it all up, and it's this simple. You're crazy until you're not. You're crazy until you're not. That's it. And that's what you're all going through here right now. You're crazy until you're not. What that means is, as long as you consider yourself going crazy, well, OK, you will be. As long as you consider yourself crazy <coughs> compared to other people, crazy compared to your own past, crazy for having thoughts that are different that are difficult to define, that defy science and regular logic, well, then you're crazy. As long as you're considering your dreams to be just uh, made up, not real, as long as you're considering that uh, some of your, your true desires in life are, are just crazy dreams, well, then you're crazy until you're not. Not being when you accept that you're not crazy. What you are experiencing and feeling, the knowingnesses that you have that you can't define, those, those tremendous feelings within, the, those, you all have them, these kind of um, breakthrough moments, and you just get it for a period of time. And then, and then, of course, then you close down and you think, oh, that was just, I'm just nonsense making that up. It is not. 
you're crazy until you're not. You're crazy until you realize this isn't crazy. This is not crazy. This is natural. It's real. It's expanded. When you try to put yourself back into that limited world, the blue world, that's crazy. That's crazy. But, but you're back there amongst a lot of other blue people uh, and with the whole blue reality. And, and then, then your mind settles down and says, oh, you see, I'm, I'm back here now. I must not be crazy. But well, you know, you know what it's like. You keep getting that little thing in your mind saying, but you're crazy. But you're nuts. This is, this is, why can't I just lead a normal, regular? Why do I have to hear voices? Why do I have to get these uh, overwhelming feelings? Why, why is it I have such a yearning to be something else? Oh, it must be something wrong with me. They tell me that I'm just supposed to uh, accept who I am, what I am. No. No. It's not about that. It's not about putting yourself back into crazy land. It's about now breaking free, emerging, emerging from that. You're crazy until you're not, meaning once you take a deep breath and you realize, hey, this isn't crazy. This is more real, more natural. This is more freedom than anything else. Then you're not crazy anymore. When you stop putting that label on yourself, you stop walking and talking like a crazy person. You stop having crazy people dreams uh, in your life. We're going to talk a little bit more today about dreams. Uh, you stop being a, 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 the crazy dreamer, and now you're real. Now you're real. Over the course of history, a lot of greats were considered to be crazy. Leonardo da Vinci, uh, considered to be a total nut job in his time. He, he, he couldn't make appointments. He, he couldn't finish a painting. Uh, he, he couldn't uh, really have any sort of real relationships with other people. He was eccentric, always doodling and drawing. He was crazy until he wasn't, until suddenly he realized that he was communing, opening up with things that are all around, that, that are here but just cannot be seen with the human eye or perceived with the human senses, but are here, and you know it. It's sad when I see you, your mind negate things that are really here. Negate it because you say, I don't want to be that crazy guy or that crazy girl. I, I'm just going to conform. You cannot conform any longer. That's it. You've gone too far. You cannot conform. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. You're more real. You're more sensual. You're more multidimensional. You're more authentic than any of the ones who have ever called you crazy. And they will come back someday and realize and admit that, no, you weren't crazy. And they're going to apologize for calling you that. And you're going to have some big aspects coming around apologizing for your own aspects for calling you crazy. You're not. You're crazy until you're not, meaning get over it. And then suddenly you're not crazy. Suddenly you are brilliant. <laughs> no, really, you are brilliant. You are a genius. Uh, that's what they're going to say, or at least what you'll say. <laughs> I'm a damn genius. <laughs> you are unbelievably creative. You are such a being of multi-dimension. You're crazy until you're not. So let's just get over that crazy part right now. Let's take a deep breath. You're not crazy. I know crazy. <laughs> and you're not crazy. Crazy, actually, if we were going to define it, it's not ones who fly and who soar to heights that they know nothing of, but yet feel that there's something there. Crazy is not, are not the ones who soar. Crazy are the ones who keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into a very limited reality, looking for answers. That is crazy. 
Crazy is repeating the same patterns lifetime after lifetime, hoping for a different result. That's crazy. Crazy is when uh, one starts taking these medications, these mind drugs, and it gets them so deeply embedded in the blue, in the nothing. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Crazy is trying to conform yourself so that you're no longer yourself. You're the conformity of everybody else. That's crazy. You're not crazy. No, you're, you're pioneers. You're, you're ventures out into the other realms. You're the ones who are willing to take on new. I'll come back to this later in, in this discussion, but you know, we've talked for a long time about the, the I am is the consciousness, the awareness. I am, I exist. The Master is the one who brings all the experiences to wisdom, cleans up, is the one at the backside of the elephant parade, cleaning up all the stuff, composting it, getting it back to the, the basics. That's the Master. The human is the one who experiences new. Crazy is when you're not doing new. When you, the human, are held back, you're not into new. You're repeating old patterns. That will drive you crazy. The human is all about new, but yet, for a lot of reasons, they haven't been doing it in a long time. Keep doing the same old patterns. You're going into the new, and while a part of you might think, well, that's crazy. <laughs> Why would I want to go into the new when I don't know what it is, or where it is, or what it will do to me? Why would I possibly want new in my life? I just, hell, I'm, I haven't done a good job with the old. Why would I want new <laughs> in my life? <coughs> it's crazy not to go into the new, because that's the human's job, new experience. And when you're not doing experience, when you're not going into the new, then you're crazy. Then you're negating the very reason the human facet is here in the first place. Then you're, you're suffocating yourself. You're suffocating your soul, literally almost. I mean, because it's not getting. It's, daily um, ration of new and experience. And then when you're not into the new, when you're not out experiencing as the human is designed to do, well, then the, the master has no poop to clean up behind, because it's just the, oh, it's the same old crap. That's a <laughs> We're going into the new, I mean, in so many ways. And yes, the, the human, the human uh, worries once in a while, what's going to happen? Where is it going to go? But I, I ask you, I challenge you to feel into it. Part of the human says, I, I'm not so sure about this, but you already know. I mean, you already know. I know that. You already know where we go next. Maybe not definable in your words or even your thoughts, but your nost knows. Let that come forward today. I take a good deep breath into the new. Yeah, we're not going to be repeating old patterns, that, that's for sure. Anyway, I love that. I love what I told the, the other Ascended Masters. I said, um, as far as the humans uh, goes, you're crazy until you're not. And it took them a moment, as, as wise and as smart as they're supposed to be. It's, yeah, they were human at one time, so they're a little slow on the trigger once in a while. But there, a hush fell over the Ascended Masters Club. As, and they took this in, you're crazy until you're not, and then one by one, over 9,000 Ascended Masters getting to their feet and applauding. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I notice you didn't get to your feet, but that's okay. Don't, don't. <laughs> it, it, was, it was truly a defining moment, because, uh, and it's about you. It's about you. It's about the work we're doing, about the oh, – this is challenging. It's difficult uh, at times. Uh, it's rough at times. 
And particularly what we're doing now, literally going beyond the mind. Can't do it from within the mind, but it does feel crazy when you go outside of the mind. 